She's my flower, and I'm her butterfly. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl stars Thomas Mann, Olivia Cook, and is directed by Alfonso Gomez Rijan. Guys, I didn't know anything about this movie, and then I noticed that one of my movie review buddies at Joey Reviews reviewed this, and I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. So I went and watched it today. And one thing that I noticed right away is that this is an independent film. And independent films are great because they're so unpredictable. And when you have an independent film versus a big Hollywood studio film, one thing that I love about them is they are unpredictable, they're real. You're probably going to get some better characters out of these movies. Me and Earl and The Dying Girl is no exception. The first thing that grabbed me about this movie is the direction. The director, Alfonso Gomez Rajan, this guy is definitely going to be on my radar because he has a very signature, unique style of directing and you can tell that he is a movie lover and he studies the craft and he likes older uh, movies from the 60s and 70s. And the main character, Greg, he is kind of a film connoisseur. He, he makes his own movies with his buddy Earl and he changes the name up and he calls them horrible movies but like Greg the characters in this movie are so well done and so fleshed out and they feel so real it feels like a documentary as a sidebar I watched a, another independent film on Netflix uh, a while back called Short Term 12 if you guys ever get a chance to check out that movie it's free if you have Netflix you can check it out it is a great movie and it's an independent film and it feels like a documentary it doesn't feel like acting and it just it punches you right in the gut it's it's really great but another thing I really liked about this movie was it is really funny for, especially for a movie about somebody with cancer there are so many moments uh, between Greg and his buddy Earl where I was literally laughing out loud in the theater. I mean, the whole theater was laughing out loud and we were in stitches. And this is not a comedy, really. It's more of a drama. But the characters are so rich and you just, you eat it right up. But guys, I'm being rude. I didn't even tell you what this movie's about. So let me break it down for you. Greg is this typical uh, high school senior and he is extremely introverted and the story centers around him. And his mother kind of forces Greg to go hang out with this girl, Rachel, because she has cancer. And the story is their relationship with each other and how this friendship grows between the two. And I usually avoid movies that have to do with cancer and dying like the plague. You know, dramas where I know that I'm probably going to get sad and I'm probably going to tear up at the end. I'm a big baby when it comes to those movies, so I, I, try to, I try to not watch them. But I was curious about this movie because it was an independent film and I checked it out. And you know what? I'm really glad I did. And I'm not going to give anything away to you guys. The first half of this movie is more of a comedy, whereas the second half is more of a drama. But it all blends together very well. And there are a lot of great side characters in this movie, uh, supporting actors like Nick Offerman, who plays Ron Swanson, the legendary Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. And also Molly Shannon, who was on SNL for quite a few years. And she is a very underrated actress. She always plays these really small roles, but she tends to steal every scene that she plays. She always creates a really interesting and quirky and sometimes weird character. And that's, that's the way she is in this movie. But one of the funniest characters in this movie is the guy who plays Earl, R.J. Kyler, or Siler, however you say his name. He was hilarious in a lot of the scenes he's in, and he seemed so genuine. He doesn't seem like he's acting. And I promise you, you're going to be laughing out loud at a lot of the scenes that he's in. And his friendship with Greg is so great and so genuine throughout the movie. And you feel like you know them by the end of the movie. And there's also a really, really funny scene that involves drug use. I'm not advocating drugs or anything, but there's movies that have these scenes. And usually when the characters are on drugs and they're just so funny, like uh, Old School with Will Ferrell, you're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. And then you got uh, Young Guns, the original Young Guns, when they're when they're tripping in the mountains. She's my flower, and I'm her butterfly. Did you see the size of that chicken? Well, this movie has one of those funny scenes too, and I about rolled out of my seat during it. It was really funny. And my question for you is, what are some independent films that you like that maybe I haven't seen? There's so many great ones out there, and 
many of them go unnoticed. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and run dumb out.